There's a lot of focus on sync these days. The exciting thing for me is sync will always be around. You know, people will always be creating content. It's just what type of content people will be creating. There are some big bands who we've represented who used to not want to do sync at all and, and in the last two or three years have come back to us and said actually we're changing our position we would like to do select pieces of, of sync work. Our clients don't necessarily care about chart position or how well an artist has done or is going to do they just want a song or a piece of music that works with what they're creating and that's exciting because we don't need to worry about showing them that this artist is going to be a superstar they might be a superstar, they might not be. As long as it works to picture, then that's the main thing. We all get the same music sent to us. They all, you know, we all have similar resources. And that's wonderful in itself, but it's really great to be able to step outside and, and discover new things. I'm always looking for good music. I'm always looking for um, um, interesting, new, up-and-coming bands. Recently, we did a big ad campaign in the UK that I think will roll out internationally for a brand called Boots uh, with an American artist called Kaleo. They were sort of making strides in the right direction in the US but not in the UK and we had plans to release some music but the sync, sync that we did for this band has enabled them to come over to the UK, start touring, make some money, raise awareness, get Shazam tags, sell records. There was a band that we have um, who've just got a new album coming out called Temper Trap. They're an Australian band. It was a fascinating process. They, you know, nobody had heard of them. They were completely brand new. They're on Glass Note Records. We started to get them syncs in the obvious ter territories like the UK and the US. And, but then they got big syncs in mainland Europe, in France, in Germany, in Italy, and then in Indonesia and Australia. And you could see them traveling, their music really connecting with people and traveling all around the world. It was a fantastic um, example of how these territorial borders can just be completely knocked down um, because the music is, is that good. And that's all come off the back of our sync and how we work with repertoire that ne not, isn't necessarily UK repertoire, but is repertoire from our offices around the globe. We're seeing people move from it being a movie to let's not do a movie, let's make a TV series um, and let's sell it not to the terrest terrestrial broadcasters, let's sell it to the internet streaming companies, which means the value of music on streaming platforms as audio only but also as audio visual and the broadcast royalties we collect off the back, the value attributed to those, that's where the big battles are going to be over the next five to ten years. Yeah.